Hey everyone, I'm Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland. Welcome to my not-so-weekly weekly update on PEI real estate. Today we're going to quickly cover everything from buying sight unseen, rental cars, airports, wells and septics, price reductions for new listings, uh, real estate searches, realtor.ca, and finally apartment buildings. So starting from the top, I've had a number of people wanting to make offers on land and houses subject to a viewing, which basically means you're not going to buy it unless the viewing is successful. This works great in a buyer's market when there's when they can't give their houses away. The sellers have no buyers, but not so much in this market, which means by having a viewing clause, you're going to dramatically uh, decline the effectiveness of your offer. So anything you can do to be more comfortable using technology do that. I know a lot of the agents and brokers are offering the Zoom calls on site, Skype calls, uh, candid videos, which I'm doing, which cover every inch of the property. So see if you can get some of those things to make you more comfortable so you can put in a more substantive firm offer. Rental cars. I keep hearing there's a huge shortage in PEI of rental cars, so do not book your flight into PEI unless you have one pre-booked and preferably four-wheel drive. Alternatively, we also have, in addition to Charlottetown, we've got Halifax and we've got the Moncton Airport, so check out those routes as well. Wells and septics. Getting a lot of buyers from southern Ontario and B.C., uh, more so southern Ontario, but their biggest concern sometimes is the cost of infrastructure to build a house on vacant land. Vacant land, as I've said from previous videos, is selling like hotcakes. The cost of a well and septic is nowhere near what it would be in areas like Ontario and BC that have bedrock. So check out those costs, but they're substantially, substantially less than most places in the country. That's why we grow potatoes here because of the poor soil, which also leads well or lends well to septic system. I'm seeing price reductions on properties that have only been listed for a week or two. If you're the owner or the vendor of these properties, you may want to check out your marketing materials first before you apply price reductions. This is a seller's market, and if you're going on the market and reducing the price after just a week or two, chances are there might be something wrong with your marketing materials. So check that out first. The pictures, the video, the distribution, the marketing plan or proposal behind it. Uh, searches. Realtor.ca by far is the best place to find real estate most places in Canada. It ties directly into the real estate board's database and it's updated to within a few hours. So the automatic update makes sure that Realtor.ca is far, far more accurate than something that needs man manual intervention to update active, sold, expired, withdrawals. Having a technology background, I know anytime you enter manual labor or, or a manual process into a database, the database becomes not as accurate because things get busy, they forget, they make errors, whereas if things are automated, like realtor.ca, it's 100% correct, providing that we've done our job to update the status of those properties. Another big change in realtor.ca I pointed out last week is the sold data is on there if there is any. The, the history of realtor.ca is not as detailed as the agents and the brokers are getting. Uh, it's sort of been watered down. So always ask your, ask your agent or broker what the history of the property is if you're looking to buy. Always good information to have. And finally, apartment buildings. I've got at least three buyers that are really, really motivated. They've got the capital looking for apartment buildings, minimum probably 12 units at a time. Uh, one buyer particularly looking for large volumes of apartments, including complete portfolios. So looking for apartments in PEI. That's about it for this week. If you have any questions about PEI real estate or PEI in general, put them in the comments below. Do all that YouTube stuff. Subscribe, the bell, the thumbs up. You know, the list goes on and on. Uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching. And uh, if this is the weekend, enjoy the rest of the weekend.